What's up guys, it's Juno, welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown Live. Actually, this isn't Pokemon Showdown Live, this is UU uh, Campaign. Um, yeah, we're gonna be playing some more UU Campaign today, where we take on the UU Ladder using, um, or starting from three mons and building up from there. Uh, we're gonna be using pretty much the same set of six this time, except I've swapped, um, Salamence, uh, for Crobat, so, um... I'll, I'll look, like look at the sets and stuff when we get into it, but our backups that we have so far, just to remind you guys, are Salamence, Lucario, Nido King, Rotom Moe, and Aggron. Uh, Mega Aggron, that is. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grab a battle. Server is shutting down. Awesome. So I'll see you guys uh, when the server is back up. We inside now. Um, looking at this guy's team is a little bit threatening because I uh, don't have a whole lot for Pidgeot if he uh, can get rocks up and pressure Snorlax. Um... But honestly, I'm feeling like his lead here is probably going to be Pidgeot. But I'm just going to go ahead and lead uh, Crobat to hopefully get off a quick U-turn. And uh, he does end up leading Pidgeot. That's cool. Um, so I'm just going to get off a quick U-turn into uh, into my thing, my Snorlax. Because I can hopefully chew this hit. Because I actually have zero for this. Um, looking at my wind, ki wind condition, I think it is also Snorlax. Which is kind of depressing. Um, seeing as... Uh, I kind of need this for Pidgeot. Actually, that that did do a lot less than I was expecting it to. Uh, he crits me with the U-turn, which is always wonderful, but uh, probably won't end up mattering. Um, we'll see, though. If I can get a nice body slam para, that'd be beautiful. He goes into Don Fan. We getting paras? Nah, we ain't getting paras quite yet. Um, it's okay, though, because I do have Chestnut, which is a very safe switch into this, because I can also uh, go ahead and uh, probably throw down Spike, because I would not anticipate him... Uh, to stay in right here, just because, you know, like, I'm a grass type, he's a ground type, unless he's play rough, he can't really touch me, I am spadef, um, which is a little bit of a worry, but he does go out in a Pidgeot, um, I may throw, a uh, Stone Edge on here, um, just to catch that on the switch, because that is pretty annoying, but, um, you know, we'll see, oh god, am I gonna get to a KO'd? Ah, nice. Um, see, see, that's why I thought that uh, U-turn, crit U-turn may have mattered. But we we are going straight to sleep right now. Um, because he... It's done 30 twice, so I wouldn't expect him to try to stay in. Which he does not. So I will be able to rest right here. Which is very, very nice. Um, I will probably just be able to click sleep talk. Unless he goes out into crit dread. In which case, I should probably go out in a crowbat um because he doesn't really have a fighting type so crowbat isn't as valuable this battle like don't get me wrong it's still defogs and that's nice but seeing as crowbat is the only thing that is really troubled by hazards it's like you know um not that not that big of a deal anyway um i think right here i'm just going to go straight out into my sweet coon um to switch it up in case he wants to double as he ends up going out into kingdra that is not at all what i wanted to see um because I could try to stay in and fish for a burn, but I think I'm just going to go out and a Crobat. Um, as long as I can prevent him from agility, agility-ing, then I think I'm okay. Um, so that's the goal. Uh, hit him with a uh, Brave Bird. I'm not Skyplate, unfortunately, so don't... Oh, God. I'm going to lose a Mon, I think. Because um, nothing's taking Crit Dracos right now. Nothing at all. Um, actually, Snorlax may be able to if I sleep talk a Body Slam, but... It's a, l a little risky. <laughs> uh, maybe he's min speed. Uh, yeah, I'm just sacking Crobat right here. To the crit hydro. Um, nice. Uh, so let's see. What are my options here? Um, I forgot. I don't have the thing on this. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... Is Gyro my best play? It's resisted and I'm not very strong, but he's fast. I'm going to go for it. Um, I cannot dodge a Hydro, but I do live. Gyro will not be able to take him out. That is depressing. <laughs> um, maybe he misses? Nah, no miss. He no. Oh, I'm no guard. That makes sense. <laughs> um, Alright, so, what do I need the least? I lost. I, no, I didn't lose my Pidgeot switch in. I don't think I can risk risk Snorlax this early, considering it does just kind of clean up. Um, it kind of eats his team alive. Chestnut's kind of nice, because it takes on that to some degree, and that. Um, this thing can also actually clean up late game, because if I get rid of that, I can start just spamming EQ, and uh, if I can bring it in on that, uh, I can get like plus one, and I can knock off that thing to Violet, which is nice. 
Uh, honestly, Suicune doesn't look like it's doing a lot. I kind of have to hope he misses a Draco here, because Draco probably will be able to kill, um, as he doesn't miss a Draco. Um, that's unfortunate. So, right now I'm kind of fishing for misses, which is a very bad strategy. <laughs> but, uh, God, this dude just doesn't miss at all. This is unfortunate. Um, are we going to see a Snorlax last Mon sweep? Um, that'd be pretty sick. Okay, you have to miss right here. Like, you have hit an unholy amount of attacks. Nice! <laughs> Alright, that actually really helps. Um, forces him into Pidgeot right here. Um, so things are salvageable. I thought I was about to get eaten alive right there, but he does go out into Pidgeot, which is his best play. I can just go out into Snorlax, though. Um, kind of forces him out in... Oh, he just goes for the Hurricane. Nice. There's a confusion. Inevitable. Um, I can click Sleep Talk right here. I feel like his best play is just to stand and click Hurricane, which he does do. Ah, that's painful. All right. Um, what needs to happen right here is I need to uh, Sleep Talk a Body Slam. Body Slam. Para. No Para. Okay. Um, let's see. Is Knock Off going to kill? Well, I guess we don't have any other option than to just fire it off and hope it kills. Um, because there's no way I'm cleaning up with Stone Edge. The only way I can clean up is with Knock Off, so, um, you know, we'll see. <laughs> uh, kind of unfortunate I wasn't able to kill him with the uh, Gyro right there. So, it looks like we're going to be taking our first loss. Um, I could click Superpower, but that's bad. Okay, crit. Uh, you live? I lived. I'm confused, <laughs> and he has E-Speed, nice, um, so what Mon are we getting rid of right here, what Mon are we getting rid of, um, let me actually look at this real quick, uh, team builder, where, where are we at, are we right here, um, okay, I like this core right here, we, we aren't getting rid of any of these things, uh, Chestnut's really nice, uh, just to have at the back, um, <sighs> That's our fighting check, but it, I don't feel like it's as necessary now, because we have Crobat. Um, what else would we have to replace this thing real quick? Uh, the reserves. We could add Lucario, which is basically like a more offensive version. Um, we could add Rox oh, we could add Rotom, which is always nice, um, because it has like similar set of resistances and can spread status. I feel like, okay, I'm going to go Rotom, um, I think. Because I do feel like that is my best play. Best play. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that right here. So, Rotom uh, C. Uh, M. Rotom M. That's that's the thing. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab a set real quick. And uh, I'll be right back. All right. We back. Uh, I went ahead and uh, added uh, Rotom Mo. And basically, the spread is fairly straightforward. It's just uh, I, I, can, I can show it to you guys. What am I thinking? All right. So, while we found a battle, I'll show it to you. Um, named it after uh, Frank C. Tro, a new subscriber of mine. Huge shout out to him. He's a really cool guy. Um, uploads videos as well. You've probably heard of him as we got a battle. So I'll just explain the set in here. Um, Volt Switch, Leaf Storm, Pain Split, and Wisp with enough speed to outrun Gator, which is super helpful. Anyway, looking at this battle, I feel like Ape is going to be his lead. And uh, either way, Crobat is a very good lead against this team, uh, because even if he does lead with Beedrill, it's like, we check Beedrill, uh, we check those, <laughs> and uh, can probably just fire off a Brave Bird or whatever. He is using a Sneasel, which is kind of a cool mod, um, because it does check Mints really well. Um, Mints is kind of a problem, but he ends up leading Sneasel right away. I'm just clicking U-turn, because I'm fast in this thing. If he wants to hit me with, like, Life Orb Ice Shard, that's fine. Um, cause we have switch ins and it's not really an issue. So, um, honestly against his team, it's going to be harder for like my really fat mons to find setup opportunities. Um, let's see, he's going for ice punch. Um, so I'm just going to go straight into Snorlax. Even if he knocks off, it's not that big of a deal. Or I could go into Suicune. Um, your boy still has no, there's no mens checks, which is kind of bad. He goes for the icicle crashes. We do eat that. And uh, I can just go straight away for a Scald and uh, do that sort of shenanigans. Um, so anyway, how am I going to beat Mensa's battle? Um, I feel like I have to intimidate it with Crook. He goes straight at Nintendo Cruel right here. I do get the burn, which is nice. And uh, I think I'm just going to go straight at into Rotom because I can pick up free momentum with the Volt Switch because I really don't think he'll want to stay in. And uh, he'll probably go out and he doesn't really have a whole lot of switch ins to this, does he? Not at all. Um... 
I could Wisp if I really wanted to, but I don't want to risk him going out into Infernape to try to eat a Leaf Storm. Um, as he goes out into Sneasel just to sack that. So good play on his part. I can just go straight back out into Crobat because it does get me relatively free momentum. Um, I kind of wish I was running Taunt on this thing because uh, I could stop Ments from setting up and stop it from getting the plus one, which would be nice. He does go straight out into Ape right here. Um, so I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird. Oh, he's fake out. Nice. Easy win. <laughs> um, he has Life Orb too. So this is not a thing that he wants to take part of right now. This is a free Brave Bird for me. Not really sure why he sacked that because, you know, um, it's stab cover if, it, if it's stab coverage does kind of like handle a lot of my team. Um, but, you know, um, his call, not mine. Um, right here, I'm thinking I'm just going to... Go straight out into Crocodile, because um, while Crocodile is super nice, um, I do need Crobat, and I forgot I'm not Intimidate. Nice. Because um, what I was gonna do is burn it with this. Can I? Can I eat a hit from plus one Mets? Yeah, I probably can. Right? I can do it. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go for the knockoff, um, just in case he's not Scarf, but he is. Um, he's tough, eh? What? <laughs> um, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp as uh, he just straight up knocks me out. So that's disappointing. Um, I have zero for this, as you guys can tell. I'm going to go for the Body Slam. Hopefully he gets hit in Confusion. So he does not, and I just die. Uh, this is garbage. Help me. Uh, I have zero Mence Checks. This is a problem. Um, I need to pick up an Obama Snow. All right, so he hurts himself in Confusion. Can I get a burn? Ah, there it is. Okay, that can turn the battle around. Because um, I'm going to go straight to sleep. <laughs> um, he, Because that outrage still does a lot. Oh, my Lord. Um, okay. How am I going to do this? This needs to be at nearly full health. So can't leave it on right here. Um, this beats that. But so does this. Um, but that's putting a lot of stress on this. Um, I feel like I can just go out into Chestnut right here, try to eat a hit. Um, do so successfully, kind of force him out into uh, into Honchkrow to click Brave Bird. Um, you know, can go a couple of different ways for me. Um, uh, okay, I think what I'm gonna do is oh, he goes out in the B drill. I can, I am fine with this because um, I'm just going to uh, Spiky Shield this turn, get a little bit of extra residual on B drill, makes it a little bit easier for me to handle later on. Um, what? Why was that the play at all? You don't even have a... Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird. Because um, I won't die to any one hit. Like, I don't think I died to a knockoff, so it's not it's not an issue at all. I can just click Brave Bird, get this B-Drill out of here. Um, so he just goes for... It, was it worth it? Was it worth the turn of setup that it took to get that? <laughs> um, Suicune may be able to pull out a last Mon Sweep right here. As he goes out in a Haunch Crow, it could not have asked for a better situation. Because I can just... Oh, he's Citrus. I'm going to Roost right here on the probable Sucker Punch. Got him. <laughs> um, let's see. Brave Bird did 63. So that's a roll. Um, we tech those. I can click Brave Bird right here, knock him out, um, and he goes for the Sucker, which is fine. Um, we get that out of the way, which is a huge help. Um, I will go down to Beedrill now, but like, oh, Beedrill's Focus Energy, that's so lame. Um, maybe he protects or something right here. Um, either way, I'm roosting, because um, it is my best play, so. He, he cannot knock me out with the new with the u-turn look at crobat shout out will diaz <laughs> um crobat has just put the entire team on his back right now um because like look at that 15 percent bulky bat is so good uh he doesn't even burn me ah it's not an issue i'm gonna go into suicune just because i kind of want to keep this thing healthy because i can just click brave bird twice and win once i weaken tentacruel a little bit he goes for the scald which is fine um if i sleep talk a calm mind then uh, sleep talk a scald i think it's over because uh, then Drill can't really set up on me for free and uh can't like super crit me with knockoff or anything he does get up a second layer of t-spikes um which does not help him at all but uh honestly kind of shocked i pulled that one out um Huh, what mon am I going to add? I think Beedrill is a pretty bad ad for me. 
Um, yeah, V drill is not good at all for me. Um, I already have immense, um, so not adding that. Why was this the play? <laughs> um, either way, um, I don't really want to add Tentacruel because I already have a poison type that resists fighting. Um, all poison types resist fighting. Uh. Um, I already have a poison type that uh, can remove hazards, so not really that much of a problem for me. I think I'm going to add Sneasel. As bold as that is, I think I'm going to add Sneasel because uh, your boy Sneasel uh, can check mints, and that's what we are looking for right now. Um, so whether, actually, you know what, I'm just going to add Honchkrow, because Honchkrow is probably better for this. Um, so let me replace you uh, with Honchkrow. There we go, got him. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab another one, and uh, I didn't even have to pause. God, nice, nice. This is looking like a team I can beat. Hopefully no more, like, 70 turn stall fests. Uh, I'm going to leave with uh, Rotom Mo, though, because uh, Rotom can Volt Switch out on pretty much anything, and the only thing that blocks it from Volt Switching is Swampert, which, you know, is not taken kindly to this here Leaf Storm. Um, I'm going to Wisp, actually, turn one, because uh, I don't want this thing being, like, Cussed Up Explosion and uh, taking out one of my Mons. Uh, as he just decides to get his rocks up, so that is very nice. Um... Lefties goes before burn, so, you know, what you gonna do about that? I can hit him up with the Volt Switch, that actually did a lot, and uh, I can go straight at Necrobat, because I don't really lose anything, as long as he doesn't Volt Switch, as he does Volt Switch, nice, <laughs> making bad plays already, um, we'll see what he decides to do here, um, he doesn't really have a whole lot that wants to take this on, especially, this is more than likely Mega Pert, because he doesn't have any other Mega, and... Mega Pert, like running rocks on something else, so you can run like Rain Dance Pert is very nice. So um, I'd imagine that's what we're gonna see right here as he goes into the Porygon Dose. Um, I think I'm clicking Defog right here. No, actually, because I Defog versus Forge Slater. There's, there's no reason. To, there's zero reason to risk this. Um, I think right here I'm gonna go into Crook on the T Bolt? Question mark. Don't be Ice Beam on the Tri Attack. That did a lot. Um, either way, I'm knockoffing, knocking off, um, because if I can get this thing's item that's off, that's super nice as a, ah, so he is mega pert. Okay, I can deal with this, because we have Rotomo out here for a reason. We also have Suicune, we also have a Chestnut, so we have multiple counters to Mega Swampert right here. Um, plus he won't really want to take a burn, despite the fact that he does have a Blissey to, uh, do things about that later as he just goes for a waterfall he crits me beautiful <laughs> what do i expect uh, i'm gonna go for the wisp and a uh, good thing about this is that if he does go out into blissey right here i can just pain split on that and uh kind of hamper its recovery so well not hamper its recovery but just make it a lot easier for me to deal with um as i miss the willow which actually may actually that kind of works out better for me um, because I get more HP back relatively. Either way, I was getting 100, but, um, I'm just Volt Switching right here, probably on the, uh, Wish. Um, I gotta see how much HP Crobat has left, though. Um, Crobat has 205, so it's gonna take in rocks, it's gonna take a fourth. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna do 100 in rocks, I don't have 400 HP, so, um, I can, in fact, just roost all this thing, which is super nice, um, or I could go into Snorlax and just kinda win. It's looking like a pretty attractive option at this point. Because <laughs> um, I can just start cursing up right here. Um, that's like a six hit KO after leftovers. So, uh, actually maybe seven. Possible worst move, possibly the worst move ever. Um, so I can just start uh, cursing up right here. The only really like true stops he has to this would be like superpower pert. Um, he does go into pert right here. Um, Either way, I feel like cursing is kind of my best play. Um, yeah, damn you, Swamper. I'm cursing at you. Ah, funny jokes. Um, that only did 31, so we are chewing up, chewing everything right now. Um, and I can just go straight away for the rest because, you know, he, like, this fortress is burned. It's on a timer. He can't stall me out. Um, there's there's actually zero he can do about this right now. Uh, Snorlax is just going to devour his team at this point, and... If that does indeed happen, I should just keep this open so I don't have to, like, continue to go back to it. Um, I'm thinking P2 as an add. 
Um, cause we do have a couple of checks to stop fighting types, um, and stuff like Crobat and also chilling back here. We have fat mints if we want to. Um, so I'm feeling like P2 would be very nice cause it, you can EV it to stop whatever your team is kind of weak to, uh, cause it can beat Hydreigon 1v1. It can beat stuff like Chandelure. Um, he goes into P2, which is not going to do anything in this. Let's be real. I sleep talk arrest, which is okay. Um, cause you know, I... I'll have to burn another turn of sleep right here, but like worst case scenario, I get leftovers. Um, I body slam is not doing a whole lot, but once I get to plus six, uh, it's like three times at seventy five. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, th this game is a wrap right here. Unless he crits me, there is actually nothing that he can do. Um, I'm gonna be the world's slowest Snorlax ever, but you know, absolutely worth it. Um, so. Because I'm, like, petrified of, like, para, full para, full para, full para, um, from tri-attack, I'm just gonna go ahead and rest right here, um, as he freezes me. Sigh. Um. Can I unthaw? Nice! Okay, there we go. So, um, like I said, I was, uh... A little bit scared about that tri-attack, um, and with good reason. Got frozen, straight solid, but uh, it's okay. Because uh, now I can just continue to sleep talk stuff, and there's honestly nothing he can do. And he's not making a move. It ain't SPL, buddy. Just go ahead and make a move. This is the ladder, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, be right back when he makes one. Alright, your boy's back, and um, as per the usual, we are playing with fat bonds still. And Body Slam's doing a lot. If I can get a para, that'll be beautiful. Although, he'll probably still be faster than me. Because, like, uh, 96 times one-third is not a lot. <laughs> to say the least. I'm just going straight back to sleep. I'm not going to risk any uh, tri-attack shenanigans. So, consequentially, um, Snorlax is just... <sighs> what is this? This is... It, it, like, if I can't move because of this, I'm going to be disappointed. Alright, come on. You have uh, two more chances. Ah, nice. This guy, you're a god. I love you. Ah, nice. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click sleep talk again, because see, see that this is, this guy is amazing. One, uh, one freeze is like, oh wow, that's unlucky, but you woke up, or you unthawed early, so that's okay. Second time, uh, he recognized that was garbage, um, so he was gonna try to go for the ice beam and give me like 10 more chances to unthaw. So, you know, this guy is a beautiful person. I love you, um, IV16. All right, anyway, we're, we're continuing to click sleep talk right here as he goes into his 4 -E, which is not gonna stall this out at all. Um, I get a curse, but... Um, your boy's stats will not go any higher, so I'm just clicking Body Slam, Fortress dies, um, Pert will get 2 it KO'd, Floor just is 2 it KO'd, Blissey may not actually be 2 it, yeah, yeah, from that range it's definitely 2 it KO'd, um, P2, oh, nice rapid spin, gotta get the damage, Noivern will be o would for sure, so, um, looking like a wrap here, um, your boy Brennan putting everybody on his back, um, he goes out to Noivern. Uh, I'm going to go for the Body Slam just in case he, like, tries to switch a room or something. But crits me, um, which is okay. Um, because as long as this isn't, like, special Focus Blast pert, then we are doing okay. Or as long as it's not Sub Endeavor. I know Yabo built a team with that the other day. And uh, that that's one of the fun things about UU is that a lot of the old sets that, uh, in, like, Gen 4 and Gen 5, you can go back and use those sets and they're still very, very effective. Um, I saw somebody the other day using uh, Life Orb, Obama Snow, which, um, eh. Your boy is trying to win and do stuff for YouTube. <laughs> uh, shameless plug right there. I'm going straight back to sleep because um, Seismic Toss is not going to do anything. And this is one of those guys who's like, oh man, stall. Uh, even though this is not, like, this team is not stall at all. Like, yes, it has two very bulky win conditions, but I'm also using stuff like Crookedile, Rotom, and uh, 
Crocodile, Rotom, and Crobat. So, you know, I guess it all kind of evens out. Um, thank you, friend. Um, he just continues to go for the S-Toss, kind of recognizing there's no more point in uh, doing this. So, uh, yeah, looking at his team, I'm going to be taking P2 for sure um, because it does give me immense check. And, uh, you know, as you guys can see, immense is kind of a problem for this team. Um, almost lost to it once, but got a lucky uh, body slam para. Um, and then uh, the last time we just got absolutely shredded. <laughs> so he goes out into P2 right here. I'm just going to go straight away for the body slam. And even at this point, even if he crits Snorlax to death, then I still win. So Because uh, I do have Crocoon in the back. So body slam is going to do 60%. And there's no use in recovering for him because he will eventually get stalled out. Um, he does go for the tri attack, won't be able to knock me out. So his last is Pert, and uh, we may be able to pick up the nice 6-0 right here. Uh, we'll see though. I'm not too worried about the score because, like, even if this goes down, Frank just comes in and wins. But anyway, so that's a good game. Uh, we end up picking up Porygon 2, and I believe that is going to be the ep yeah. It's a little bit of a shorter one this week, but that is going to be the episode. So if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is a. Uh, um, what is one mon you guys want to see, like, you guys want me to target and try to pick up as we continue on? Because um, I'm kind of at the point to where it's like, now it's just more focused about getting higher on the ladder to get, like, my high score or whatever. Because we do have 12 mons um, and just kind of patching up weaknesses and stuff. But um, if you guys do have any suggestions on mons that I should target, then let me know. And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that... I'll catch you on the flip-flop.